Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunderous Lure Company. Oh boy, and welcome to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. I am here with the boatless angler. He's got the front of the boat, I got the back of the boat. And today folks, we're fishing out on Lake Erie. And believe it or not, we're fishing for sheephead. Sheephead are so much fun, there's so many out here. And they're just a lot of fun to catch. And we're using the sting nose, jig and spoon. Oh, and I think I got myself a good one. And we're just jigging them off the bottom. And, oh, catching. There we go, folks. There's a good start to the day right there. Okay. He just hammered that sting nose. Hey, there's a nice sheep head right there. Lake Erie sheep head, folks, right there. All right. Let's get him off real quick. Let's see if I can. I might need the needle nose. In fact, I'm just going to use the needle. It's right here, the needle nose. That's an easy way to release those fish. Now, all we're doing, you could work these straight up and down. Just dropping it down. We're in about uh, 45 feet of water right now. And you can just get it straight down to the bottom. And these fish are on the bottom. And then you can just jig it off the bottom, let it flutter down. That's the technique, the typical technique of vertical jigging, just like that. Pause for a second or two, jig it back up, let it flutter down. Now you could also cast it out and bounce it back, which I might do a little bit of that as well, uh, because it's a flat bottom here. You don't run the risk of getting uh, snagged. This technique that I'm using right now, if there's a lot of rock down there and structure, you can keep it above the rock and structure and flutter your jig up and down. Uh, but where we're fishing right now, it's basically relatively flat. So I might try a little cast and bounce back method as well. But right now I'm just going to jig it as we're drifting along here and see if we can get into some more sheephead. Oh, we, we got a double. Antonio's on in the front of the boat. I'm on in the back of the boat. Oh my, is this ever fun. You got a good one, Antonio? Yeah, it feels pretty good. Oh boy, this is a, a riot. This one's not as big as that last one. <sighs> he just hammered it too. You got <laughs> oh, yeah, That's master style. Okay. It's a release. But you know, it's a fishery that not a lot of people... I'm going to cast this time, folks. We'll do a cast and retrieve. It's a lot. It's a fishery that a lot of people don't tap into here on Lake Erie. Everybody's busy fishing for walleye and of course bass. But you know what? It's fun to take time out and do a little sheephead fishing because they're strong and they, they're aggressive and they're fun to catch. So this is the cast and bounce back technique. I'm letting it hit the bottom and then just bouncing it back up. I'm letting it hit bottom and bounce back up and again I don't have to worry about getting snagged. It's relatively flat bottom here. So I can use this technique, which can be very, very effective. This one, this one feels like a smaller fish. He just hit it just as it was fluttering down. Look at this. You tell me these sheephead are not afraid of this big one and three quarter ounce sting nose. They're, look at the size of the sheephead. He was no problem to go after that bigger sting nose okay away he goes I'm gonna try the cast again now having said that we could easily 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 be using the three-quarter ounce sting nose but we opted for the ounce and three-quarter because it's so deep here we're fishing between 40 and 50 feet and plus the fish are very aggressive today the weather's been stable so this heavier jig has got a more aggressive fall and that could trigger more hits as well. So that's why we went with the with the heavier uh, jig and spoon today. And it seems to be working. <laughs> oh, you almost took you over the boat, over the front of the boat. He's underneath the boat. Man, oh, these are strong. Yeah. Oh, they're a riot, aren't they? Yeah. Wow. You need the net? I might bass master him in. <laughs> See? Okay. Okay, let's see. Wow. Try 
Wow. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Quick release. <laughs> I missed it. I nice. Turned, I turned my head for one minute to make a cast and I missed your release. Just took a jump right in. Did he really? Yeah. Oh, that's funny. This <laughs> one hit on the flutter down. I just watched my line and all of a sudden my line stopped going into the water and it's like, oh, that's a hit. Set the hook. Oh, this is so much fun, folks. Sheep's head, also known as freshwater drum. And this one feels decent. Oh, they give you a good hit, they give you a good fight. They really, they really, really do. And this one, oh, it's a smallie. Okay. Oh, it's a big bass. It's a nice smallmouth. Oh, how do you like that? A smallmouth bass in 47 feet of water. Okay. No wonder it was a nice solid hit. Look at that chunky smallie right there, folks. Hey. Ah, uh, that's a nice smallmouth in anyone's books. Right there. In fact, I'm going to take a quick photo for our Facebook and Instagram friends, and we'll get them right back in again. 